Well, starting off paper one of the 2017 New Higher Maths, here we go, a little three mark question just on a function of a function. One mark just for evaluate this then. Well, first of all, the part in the brackets, what is g of zero? Well, when x is zero, you've got two cos zero. So that means that's equal to f of two, I have to be careful you say that, two cos, and that'll be zero. Well, the cosine of zero is one, cosine starts at 1, so that's 2, so that's the same as the value of the function at f at 2. And what does f do? It does 5 times it. So it's 5 times 2, it's a flat right in here for this mark. So the answer then is 10. Part B, for two marks, find an expression for g of f of x. Well, it strikes me as being faster than part A because g of f of x means g acting on 5x. And what does g do? It does 2 times the cosine of whatever it acts on, which is 5x, and that seems to be more or less it. How else could I write that? 2 cos 5x. Tempted just to leave the 5x in the bracket. Number two for four marks, circle question here. The point negative 2, 1 lies on the circle with this equation. No picture, don't actually need it. Find the equation of the tangent to the circle at P. Well, this doesn't involve differentiation for the higher. It's just a case of, if you want the tangent, which is a line, I'll need its gradient and a point on it. Well, that's obviously the point on it. But first of all, where is this circle? Get its centre. Well, you can pick the centre out immediately by half of these two terms here. That's a 4. And that's a 3, that's what's being subtracted, a 4 and a 3. So the centre of that circle's at 4, 3. So this point, which is at negative 2, 1, is down here in relation to it. There's the centre, there's the point at negative 2, 1. So the tangent would look something like this. Well, the tangent is perpendicular to the radius, so I get the gradient of the radius, which will be the gradient of the line PC. So that'll be the difference in the y-coordinates. 3 take away 1. Difference in the x-coordinates, 4 take away negative 2, which I think I'll just go in with 4 plus 2. And that gives you 2 upon 6, which is a third. That means that the gradient of the tangent will be the perpendicular to that, which is negative 3, which seems about right. It's going steeply down. So I reckon those would be the first three marks. One for the centre, one for the gradient of the radius and one for the perpendicular to it, the gradient of the tangent. Now you've just got to put it together. So what is the equation of this tangent? Well, using y minus b is mx minus a, because I don't know where it cuts with the y-axis. It'll be y minus the y-coordinate of the point, which is 1, is the gradient, which is negative 3, times x minus the x-coordinate of the point, which is a negative 2. So instead of subtract negative 2, I think I'll go in with plus 2. Just rewrite that as negative 3x minus 6, but plus 1 minus 5.